Hi everyone, and welcome to our 2024 It's All Right Teen Writing Contest Virtual Awards Ceremony. My name is Elizabeth, and with my colleague Allison, we have been running the teen and youth writing contests at the library for many years together. We had a wonderful crop of stories and poems this year, and all of our judges were very impressed. Before we get on to announcing the winners, I wanted to give you all the chance to briefly meet some of the author judges who judged our finalists and selected our winners for this year's contests. So please listen in and meet your judges. Hi everyone, I'm Jacob Whiten, one of the judges. Congratulations to all the finalists. I really enjoyed reading your stories. The writing really was fantastic. I grew up here in Ann Arbor. I graduated from Pioneer in 2008 went to UVM for undergrad and Duke for law school. I practiced law for a few years, but then I decided that I wanted to do something that I was a little bit more passionate about, which was reading, talking about books. So I went to the Denver Publishing Institute and then to the University of Chicago editing program. And now I'm a freelance copy editor. So I work with authors to make sure that their books are as uh, clear and error free as possible. So mostly I deal with errors of spelling, punctuation, and grammar. I've mostly worked on novels so far, but I've also worked on a little bit of poetry, a cookbook, and a travel guide. Thank you to the library for allowing me to be a judge again this year. And once again, congratulations to all the finalists. Hi, writers. My name is Kristen Lenz. This is my dog, Henry. Um, I live in Metro Detroit, Michigan. I'm a writer and a social worker. I have a young adult novel that's titled The Art of Holding On and Letting Go, and it's a realistic fiction coming of age story about a teen rock climber girl. But I also write a little bit of everything, so short stories and poetry and flash fiction. Um, it gets published in various places online, literary journals, um, occasionally in anthology like this one called Rhyme and Rhythm, which is a whole book of sports poetry. It's very fun. And I also enter contests just like you did with this one. And very rarely do I win. Sometimes I place, um, but usually nothing at all. Um, but I continue to do it because I enjoy the challenge and sharing my work. Um, and I say that because uh, it was really challenging to judge this contest. I uh, read flash fiction and poetry entries and I read them over and over again and I agonized over my decision only being able to choose three in each category. Um, I appreciated each of the entries for different reasons. Um, so please know that the decision was very, very close. Um, I really appreciate you sharing your writing with me and I hope you keep going. Hello, my name is Patrick Flores Scott. Uh, I'm just thrilled and honored to be a judge in this year's It's All Right Teen Writing Contest. Um, I am a local Ann Arborite and proud library card holder at the Ann Arbor District Library and just thrilled to be a judge in this year's contest. Like always, it was near impossible to pick a top three because the writing was just terrific. Um, I'm originally from the Seattle area. I was born and raised in a small rural town called North Bend, Washington, and didn't do much writing and not much reading, um, but grew into a person who liked to do both. And I'm now the author of three young adult novels, Jumped In, uh, American Road Trip, and this year's uh, newly released No Going Back. Um, thank you for your writing and thank you for allowing me to be a part of uh, this year's contest. Hello everyone, I'm Catherine, an award-winning author, poet, and screenwriter, and most recently I was selected as one of the top 25 writers in, of 2024 by the International Screenwriters Association, and one of the top 10 writers of 2024 by the Golden Script Competition. Now, I gratefully was also one of the judges for this year's It's All Right competition. Now, my love of writing started early and often as I wrote 400-page novels in high school and won second place in my school's poetry competition, which I believe was my first placement. 
So like you, after that, I entered my work into other local competitions and had short stories and poems appear in magazines and reviews and journals and anthologies. Now I attended the University of Michigan and majored in creative writing. And at the University of Michigan, I met the wonderful student club writers community where I bettered my craft and made lasting connections with um, friends. And we also put our work together into a manuscript and it was published by Fifth Avenue Press. Now, I currently have a young adult novel being reviewed by seven agencies, so fingers crossed that it is published soon, and a short film that is shooting this summer by a director in Minnesota, and then a 22 TV web series that is in development for a small media company. Now, what's so cool I think about writing is that you can write anywhere, anytime, as long as you have something to write with and on and about. And each piece you write will make you a better writer. And there's just so many competitions and residencies and fellowships now that you can apply for with your writing that you can see a bit of the world, um, you know, in a new way or, or, you know, go experience something and also learn how to, you know, get better at your craft. But already the level of talent that I read in these um, pieces was just so impressive. There was, um, you know, passion, there was drive, there was a level of craft, you know, a wide variety of subjects. And so I just want you to know, no matter wherever you place today, know that you are so talented, you've made a fan out of me with your work, and I hope that you keep submitting um, because your work deserves to have a home and be seen and published and read by many. So congratulations to our finalists and our winners and really every one of you who submitted because you took the risk and submitted your work and put it out there and that deserves an award right there. So congratulations again and thank you so much for letting me read your work. Hi, I am Lindsay's Roll. I am one of the judges for the AADL team writing competition this year. I am also a librarian over at Herrick District Library in Holland, Michigan and a published author. I wrote Goth Girl, Queen of the Universe. Um, it was published about two years ago. It is about a foster kid who gets wrapped up in the exciting world of cosplay competitions. And it won a couple of awards, which I am very proud of. Um, a few other things about me that you might be interested in. I judge other writing competitions here in Holland. I speak with college students, social workers, other writers about the craft of writing and about foster care. I also run a writer's workshop here, so I read a lot of writing, and let me tell you, it was a joy to read all of yours. I am always impressed by the caliber of writing from the teens in Ann Arbor, and you should all be very, very proud of yourself, right? And congratulations to the winners, but honestly, congratulations to all of you, because you all did excellent writing this year. Hello, lovely writers. My name is Erica Chapman and I wrote Teach Me to Forget right here. I wrote my first story for National Novel Writing Month in I think it was 2009, 2009. I'm really excited to be a judge again this year for the Ann Arbor District Library Teen Writing Contest. Every year there's a batch of new and talented writers. I'm so impressed with you and your imagination. This year is no exception. There were some wild stories out there. It makes me it makes me really happy to know that the next generation is writing such lovely stories. If I were to give any writing advice, it would be to be yourself. I know you're like, Erica, what? That's not advice. It is though, because a lot of times when you sit down to write, you start thinking about other things. You start thinking about the reader. You start thinking about if somebody sees this or something. I want you to get that all out of your head and write as if no one's ever going to read it because in my opinion that's the only way you really get down what you really want to say is when you take all the critics out of your head uh, minus the one that's probably you but we try to quiet that one too and then all that's left is your beautiful creativity to build the story that you want to read and most importantly make sure you're having fun writing the whole purpose of something as wonderful as writing is for you to be able to express yourself and that should be fun and it should be allowing your imagination to run free and getting out all the things in your brain 
that you think no one else understands. I just want to thank you again this year for honoring me with your beautiful words. And I'm really excited for the future of writing because you're all amazing. I wanted to also thank Polly Rosenwake and Mimi Olson, who were both also author judges for this year's writing contest. Thank you both so much. Thank you so much to all of our judges in this year's writing contest. We really wouldn't be able to do it without you. Now it's time to move on to announcing the winners for this year's 2024 It's All Right contest. But first I wanted to share a little bit of information with you. If you hear your name announced as a winner, you can expect an email from us at the email address that you submitted with your story sometime next week. We'll be asking you to confirm the address to which you'd like your prize mailed, along with the format that you would like your prize money in. You'll be able to choose an Amazon gift card, a Target gift card, or a check. After that, after we hear back from you, you can expect to receive your prize within the next few weeks. Our winners will be posted online also next week, and all of the stories that gave us, all of the authors who gave us permission to publish their stories will be published by early June. If you submitted your story and asked to be anonymous, then your story will not be published, but you, you're, you will be listed as a winner with anonymous as the author's name. If you have any questions about any of this, you can email allright at aadl.org and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Now, it's time for me to announce the winners of this year's contest. We're going to start with the short story category and the sixth through eighth grade winners, and then I'll move through flash fiction and poetry. So our winners for this year in sixth through eighth grade short story, in third place, The Answer by Maya Fu. In second place, Why the Tides Come In by Anonymous. And in first place, One Final Game by Hang Min Chi. Our ninth and 10th grade short story winners are in third place, A Fall from Grace by Izzy Monville. In second place, Cryptomnesia by Kaylee Gattapelli. And in first place, Celia Lennox is Perfectly Fine by Hannah Ghani. Our 11th and 12th grade short story winners are, in third place, Luna by Kriya Jaganesh. In second place, The Hunt by Gracie Marie Liu. And in first place, The Child's Burden by Hannah Port. Congratulations to all of our short story winners. Now I'll move on to announcing our flash fiction winners. In the sixth through eighth grade flash fiction category, in third place, we have The Power of Forgiveness by Medha Pamdurti. In second place, we have The Invasion by Bodan Shuchak. And in first place, we have Paper Flower by Emma Kruger. In the ninth and 10th grade flash fiction category, in third place, we have Snow White with a Touch of Red by Irene Kim. In second place, You Were Never Ours by Bella Stanton. And in first place, Blind Betrayal by Hashir Ahmed. Our 11th and 12th grade flash fiction winners are, in third place, Her Dress by Kay Kaylee Parson. In second place, A Day in the Life of an Imaginary Reality by Marvin Amreen. And in first place, Oh Leslie, My Boy by Tulo Waleyi Meadows. And congratulations to all of our flash fiction winners. Now I'll announce our poetry winners. For our sixth through eighth grade poetry category, in third place, we have Dermatillomania by Annabella Mee. In second place, Creatives Art by Sylvia Stormer. And in first place, Winter and All Its Glory by Cadence Smith. In our ninth and 10th grade poetry category, in third place, we have Dear Laika, What's in a Tragedy? by Izzy Monville. In second place, An Anthem Sung from Parched Throats by Nadia Collins. And in first place, TV Chatter by Nalej Frierson. And finally, in our 11th and 12th grade poetry category, our third place winner is Jabali by Matthew Price. 
Our second place winner is A Life Cycle by Serena O'Brien. And in first place, we have Garbage by Ricardo Pastor. Congratulations to all of our winners this year, and thanks to everyone who participated in this year's writing contest. We had entries and winners from all over the state of Michigan, which is really, really fun to see. If you're eligible to enter the contest in 2025, we hope you will, and you can look for information about it starting in January like it does every year. Again, if you're a winner, you can expect an email from us sometime next week, and we'll get your prizes mailed out to you. Congratulations and thanks again to everyone who participated in the contest this year.